guys, Chris here again. Uh, today, I think what I wanted to do is a couple short videos. I'll roll them out, uh, but for now, we're gonna start with a couple updates of guitars that I've sold, bought again. They're all slightly different. I'm not gonna re-review the whole thing, but it's cool to check it out and see what's different, what's going on with this. So the first one is the Luke 3 has <laughs> made a return. I really liked the Luke 3. Uh, it was one of those things I posted on Reverb. Somebody bought it basically at my asking price. I wasn't dying to sell it, but sometimes you gotta sell them when the money's there. So I sold it and then uh, I saw this one pop up for barely more than I sold the last one for. And this is the Luke 3 BFR. This is the limited edition. It's got the Steve Lukather signature on it. This one's number 84 out of 300. Although I think you can order this finish on a current BFR. So I think the limited part is his signature basically. And it's got some different specs on it. So I thought it was worth showing you guys so you could take a look in case you were considering this model or one of the BFRs because it is slightly different. kind of bummed me out on this guitar is the Luke 3 had some of the coolest neck wood I've ever seen. This one's finished. So right away I went, oh man, why would they do that? But hear me out. Uh, okay, so this body and neck, uh, compared to the reg regular Luke 3, this is all Honduran mahogany. And this is the tumescent finish. It's like a grain filled mahogany. And it's not like a super contrasty grain filled finish. I've seen ones that are really extreme. This one's a little more subtle and I actually think they did a good job. Uh, it's really cool, definitely unique. And it's also not so extreme. Like this would pass for a black guitar anywhere until you get up close and really look at it and go, whoa, that's weird. So I think that looks cool. The Honduran mahogany on the neck, is also grain filled, more subtle but it's got a really nice satin finish and I was worried that I was gonna lose that Ernie Ball feel to the neck. It's, it's almost the same. Uh, maybe the other one was a little different feeling, but it just might be in my head. I think this neck feels great. It's the same kind of soft V shape that I liked on the Luke 3 so much. And I mean, it's just really comfortable. They've also added binding, which um, binding can go either way. Sometimes I feel like you lose the rolled edge feel when you have binding and this one, not so much. It's, it's fine. And I think it was needed on this guitar. Otherwise this would just be a hundred percent black. So I think that was a good choice. <laughs> They also swapped out the rosewood board. This one's ebony now, and the inlays are slightly bigger. They uh, looks like they upgraded them to mother of pearl. I think they were just little white dots before. But I mean, we're basically looking at the same thing. The fret works great. Uh, it, it's just all black. There's really not much difference other than visually feels a little heavier. I think it is. Maybe it's just it's 100% mahogany, and. The pickups are a little different in this one as well. Uh, my last one was hum single single. This one's hum hum. I really liked those pickups. The DiMarzio transition pickups. Those are Steve Lukather's like signature pickups. Those were the best sounding DiMarzio pickups I've ever heard. I'm not a huge DiMarzio fan and those sounded really good. They were super versatile. They, they were just all around great pickups, I thought. So I was a little hesitant to get a HH version because I really, I knew I liked the HSS one. The good news is uh, they sound almost identical, which is weird. The splits you get here are basically the same and you get the silent neck all the way up. And I, I don't think you're really missing out going HH instead of HSS. They both sound excellent. They both have the push push boost and I think the pickups are just crazy winners in these, uh, especially for DiMarzio, total home run. <laughs> The 
this guitar just it, it still has that music man feel which is this the neck is small it feels narrow it's extremely fast good action it sounds great i don't think you can really go wrong so i mean there's really not much i i've gone over basically all the details of some of the hardware and how the switching works and stuff like that in my Luke 3 review. So if you're really interested in the details, go check that one out because it's basically the same exact guitar. Um, but I just wanted to give you a little update on what makes this one different and if it's worth going for if you're split on which one to get. I would say totally cool. Uh, if the finish is for you, that's gonna be personal preference. I think it looks great. And also it's nice to get, this is a different new finish for me anyways. Uh, kind of sick of plain colors, kind of sick of wacky quilts. So here's something new and I thought it looked great. So that's it, just super quick. Uh, I thought it was awesome, check one out. I'll have a couple sound clips. You can make up your own mind about the DiMarzio transition pickups, but I think they sound great. And I guess that'll do it. We'll see you guys next time.